it is 9 11 2024 and yesterday i went to the thrift store and bought these books which i'm going to share with you one by one um i rarely go to the thrift store the only reason i went to the thrift store was because my daughter it had to do with my daughter having some uh, soccer practice in a different place but basically i don't usually go to the thrift store this is a thrift store i go to all the time i used to go to all the time or rather twice a week when i was taking my daughter to gymnastics um so i went back for the first time in wow five months and i got uh one two three four five six books none of these are um or i should say all of these <laughs> are for, <coughs> for sale in uh, or are going to be put in my two bookstores but I wanted to share with you my thinking when I go through and scan these books. Um, I didn't have as much time as I would have liked. Uh, I had to rush to get through the nonfiction or the, the books. And this is what I found. But um, nonetheless, I use I use Scoutly, and, um, which is a scanning app, which if, you've, if you use it, great. If you don't, you might use the other one, the other big one. But I've used Scoutly for a long time. It works great. And um, what I'm looking for, so here's a book by Robert Kiyosaki. You may be familiar with him or not. He wrote a book that went sort of viral before viral was a thing uh, back in the early 2000s. Actually, I'm not sure if it came out in the early 2000s or late 90s, but um, the book was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And uh, yeah, it was basically about... Well, let's not talk about that book, but essentially it's a personal finance book that was written in a way that was pretty, not controversial, but very in your face. So this is a book I've never seen of his called Fake, Fake Money, Fake Teachers, Fake Assets, How Lies Are Making the Poor and Middle Class Poor. So when I saw this, I looked it up um, because I know, well, number one, I've never seen it by him before. And number two, uh, I know that his books are still popular, even the older ones. I've sold them in my store before. So um, I jotted down some data that I saw on Scoutly, which was really important to me. Um, there's things that, you know, there's other things like what's the price, how many offers are there, but even more importantly than that is the, um, the sales rank, the current and the rolling sales rank, and then how many sales there have been. Um, and the other number, which is basically on Scoutly, it says, how many days in the last six months have there been at least one sale? So for Kiyosaki, the current rank is 53,000. I just checked it this <laughs> right now. The rolling, uh, I think it's three months. You have to correct me. It might be six months, actually. I think it's longer. But the rolling average rank is 65,000, which is really good for a book. Um, it's not excellent. Excellent would be under 10,000. <laughs> but uh, it's still really good. Really good. It's selling often. Uh, 104 days in the last six months so how many days are in a year 365 what's half of 365 you're right around 185 so 104 days with at least one sale no wonder the rank is so low so to me that says that this book is very popular so this book is going to go into my first store where i have other kiyosaki books so i'll put them together if it doesn't sell right away so when someone comes in looking for uh, books by him or books on these topics they'll be able to see a bunch of them together including this one this one the lowest price so this is the lowest um, merchant fulfilled price was six dollars it was just above six dollars so with a book like this in my store i'll probably price it at like i would say four or five bucks now i got it for uh half of this it was 50 percent off so i got it for 75 cents um, I'll probably do five bucks in my store. Uh, so I tend to price it around the lowest price um, on Amazon, typically, uh, if it's in my store. So uh, most of these, all of them except one, were half priced, were um, had the correct color for the for the color sale tag sale. This one was extremely popular, called "The Brain That Changes Itself: Stories of Personal." Uh, triumph from the frontiers of brain science this one had <laughs> check this out this one had 6,000 rank and um, current rank and 9,000 average rank which is exceptional 
uh, if you get under 10,000 uh, for a rank for a book, that book is selling multiple copies, many copies a day. And guess what? The sa the sales score was 185. So that means every day for the last six months, at least one copy of this book has sold. In my estimation, it's selling <clears throat> likely, you know, 10s, 20s, 30, 30 copies a day, maybe more, maybe more with that low of a rank, dozens. Uh, so it's a very popular book. Um, so when I'm looking for books for my bookstores, I look for books that are that are based on Amazon's data are very popular these days, regardless of the um, of the of the niche. Typically, some niches I'll pass on, even if it's super like religion. I don't really sell very many religious books. I do come across some that are very uh, popular, but I pass on those unless I can make money on it on Amazon or eBay. This one is a little different. This one actually had uh, The War of the End of the World. It's a novel. If you've never heard of this guy, he's a pretty famous author. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. Uh, Mario Vargas Llosa. And this one had a current rank of 621,000, which is pretty high for a book, but a rolling uh, average rank of 388,000, which is much better. Basically, if you're under a million for a rank for a book, it's typically selling fairly often. But like I said, if you get under 100,000, that's selling regularly. And if you get under 10,000, um, it's selling <laughs> it's selling like hotcakes, basically. Uh, this one in the last six, 60 days, sorry, six months, it has uh, 56 days of the last six months, it sold at least one copy. So it's selling pretty regularly. And I know that this guy is a um, well-known, popular author, so that's why I picked it up. Uh, again, this was only 50 cents, and this one here was uh, 75 cents. So it's super cheap. I really came across, uh, or came at the right day. Um, this one here is part of a series, Jacqueline Winspear, An Incomplete Revenge. I'm not sure how you said that. Is that a Maze Dobbs novel? And it has it here, Maze Dobbs series, book five. I'm going to take that off, though. So I'm not sure if this is a YA, young adult novel. But uh, it is very popular because when you look at it here, the current rank is 107,000, 93,000 average rank, and 111 days. There's been at least uh, one sale in 111 days of the last six months, the last 185 days. So that's very popular. Oh, right. I forgot to mention this one's the lowest price was six bucks. This one was six bucks. And this one is actually eight dollars. So I'll price this one higher um, as well. So this one was only 50 cents and it's selling pretty regularly. The next one is selling even better, which you might know why. Nietzsche Beyond Good and Evil. This was only 50, it was 50% 50 off, so it was 50 cents. This one has some in the front, has some underlining, some pen underlining, a few pages. You'll see that it's typical where the, only the first few pages are underlined because someone either gave up on reading it or gave up on underlining and just whizzed through it, um, typically because it was assigned in school. So this one, okay, 50 cents for this one. And now this one, current rank of 10,000. Again, I just pulled these right now, like five, ten minutes ago. So these are the actual ranks. Uh, 16,000 is the average rolling rank. And then look at this, 177 days there was at least one sale. So this is selling multiple copies. Well, not every single day had a sale, but if you averaged it out, I bet you, I bet you um, there was more than the amount of days, you know, 185 sales, basically. So it sold a lot of copies. Um, this one is $7.04. 40 cents is the lowest price. So I'd probably price this one like, like five bucks for that one. So, you know, I'm not making a lot of money off of these, but what's important to me for my bookstore is that I have books that people actually want to buy. And so when they come in, either they're going to buy these books or they're going to say, wow, he's got some, some current popular books, uh, even though this one's older, you know, books that people really like. He's got some good books, that kind of thing. You want to build that reputation. This one, I will teach you to be rich. No guilt, no excuses, no BS. Just a six-week program that works from Ramit is it Sethi? Sethi. Now, this guy had his own Netflix show from a couple years ago, and I believe it was kind of based on this book. This is a super, super popular book right now. 
I'm not kidding you, this is ranked currently 175. Not 175,000, 175. So this is ranked not only under 1,000, this is ranked under 500, this is ranked under 200. This is one of the most uh, popular books on Amazon right now. Um, and, whoops, uh, it, the, the, the average rank is 184. So <laughs> it's holding strong, uh, it's selling probably hundreds of copies a day would be my guess it says 183 days so what that says is that maybe one day didn't have a sale which is very strange hard to believe and then the lowest price is eight bucks um so i could easily sell this for six bucks in the store and they're just no one's going to find a cheaper price except if you go to a thrift store like i did and get it for half off and get it for 75 cents but a needle in a haystack. If you're looking for this particular book, that's why you go to a bookstore and you go and look at the um, personal finance section and you find this book for less than you can get it for online. Um, and you're unlikely to just find it walking into a thrift store. So that's the benefit, of course, the point of having a bookstore. So I found all of these and all of them are uh, make sense to me to go in my bookstore because we got personal well, this is, I mean, yeah, it's personal finance. Basically, that's this is actually personal finance. This is what philosophy, um, fiction, fiction, uh, the brain that changes itself. Yeah, it's kind of self-help. Um, I'm blanking. But yeah, so so some nonfiction and fiction as well. I think these will do well. Uh, typically, or probably what I'm going to do is this is going to go in my book and media store. This will probably go here, uh, where I am now, which is my second store. This will go in my second store. This will go in my first store. Um, this will go in my second store. This one, this will go here in my second store. So that's how I'll break them down. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, it was, it was, uh, or let you get a peek inside my brain and how I pick up these kind of books. I, like I said, I don't go to the thrift store often. I usually get most of my books donated to me or uh, I do trades or buys. Um, but I do enjoy going to thrift stores and finding quality books because you just, you're, you'd be amazed at what people will donate and um, what you'll find. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Take care.